welcome back to Fixing It Up with Sandra. I'm so excited to have you guys here with me. Um, this is where you come if you want to learn about crafting, cooking, just basically having fun in life, like all on a beginner level. There's nothing that's, um, I guess you can say, fake <laughs> about this channel. Not that there are, I'm just saying. Um, but uh, anyways, I want to share with you guys today because we are still in the middle of Christmas in July. Um, so we are gonna do something that uh, I have not done before. I've done something similar, but not have done this. So fingers crossed. Um, today we're gonna be making a drop cloth pillow um, and stenciling it. <clears throat> so we're gonna be using some stencils that I got from the dollar store a few years ago. I'm not sure which one I want to use obviously this one I did before so here's what we're gonna be using like I said I have a drop cloth right here um, and this is gonna be a no sew video so when I say that that means we're gonna be using a hot glue gun to make our pillow because my sewing machine is still on the fritz <laughs> so we're gonna be doing it like this um, super simple budget friendly you kind of get things from the dollar store or I'm um, just, you know, see what you got around, around the house. So anyways, uh, let's get started and point this camera down and you can see what I'm doing. Okay guys. So here's what I'm going to be working with. So I have this because this is actually the size that I want my pillow to be. Um, right here, I just have a drop cloth that I purchased at, I think I got this at Home Depot. Um, Amazon is pretty, um, pretty reasonable when it comes to um, drop cloths. Nice, like my nails. I just realized that. <laughs> forgot to paint this hand. Anyways, um, so you can just get a drop cloth anywhere. And in this, for this thing, you, you can also use any kind of fabric you want. I'm just using a drop cloth because I saw something like this on Pinterest. And so I wanted to go ahead and try this out. Um, here's what I'm going to do. This is going to be oh so simple. So Here's the edge of my drop cloth. I'm gonna leave about a couple inches all the way around, and I'm just gonna draw an outline because this is gonna be the inside of it, okay? So I wanna draw an outline of what I want the size of my pillow. Okay, just gonna go around this whole thing. And I'm using this kind of a pen. I, I almost did a permanent marker, but I don't want that kind of a marker to seep through on this material. So I highly recommend just like a ballpoint pen. All right, so here's what we've got so far. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. Again, I'm gonna give it a couple of inches. Try to be as straight as possible if you can when you're doing it like this, but it's okay if you're not because this is all going to go on the inside. All right, now I'm going to do a couple of inches on this side. Okay, so here's, ah, I don't want to lose that. So here's our first pattern. Do you see? And I've got it like a few inches all the way around. And I say a few inches, probably a couple inches. So, and it's not perfect. I understand that. You know, I'm just going to cut this edging off as well. I don't want that to be on here. So I'm just going to do a quick trim of this. You can also, if you feel like it, take all this threading out um, instead of just cutting it, but I'm not going to waste time doing that. There we go. Okay, so now we have our first pattern. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna do our second one. Again, leave a little bit around the outer edge. All right, perfect. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this. Okay, 
can tell that I'm obviously not a seamstress. <laughs> All right. this edge off. All right, so now we have our two pieces right here, okay? Okay, so before we start to glue together, I wanna go ahead and do a stencil on this. All right, I'm going to take, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the, the fabric that has the outline on it this is going to be your front right here, okay? So now I'm going to, because what we're going to do, I'm, I'm going to explain it. So here you have where you can see your drawing, okay? You can see your square right here. You have your other piece where you see the square. This is how we're going to glue it together. We're going to lay the two pieces that have the ink on it face down like this, okay? So this is gonna be our inside that has no ink on it. That's why I wanted to use a ballpoint pen as well. And when we go to glue, we're gonna match up these two lines to try to get as straight as line as possible. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it inside out. Does that make sense? I'll show you, don't worry. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our stencil and I'm gonna grab some tape that I thought I had right next to me, but let me grab some painter's tape really fast. And of course you can do this at any size that you want. You can do a really big pillow, whatever you want. And you can do two different colors of um, paint. I'm just gonna do this all red. And I'm gonna find somewhat of the center as best as I can. And we're gonna tape down the edges of this right here. Now there's going to be two ways. Well, I can recommend two ways of doing this. If you're someone who wants to um, do an outline of this first, like, you know, do a little outline and then go back in with a really nice, you know, tight um, paintbrush and then paint this, that is an option. Or what we're gonna do today, we're gonna do stippling, which means I'm gonna use a flat edge brush like this. This one has two sizes. This one is the smaller one, but this is the bigger one. They do sell them at the dollar store and they're about, they're about the size. I mean, and they all work really nice. I do have my paint, a uh, paper plate right here. This is the paint that I'm gonna be using, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a little bit of paint, Make sure you try to get as much paint off of the brush as possible because you don't want it to bleed underneath here. And then we're just gonna take our paintbrush and we're gonna dab it like this. And I'm gonna do the entire thing red, okay? So you actually don't need a lot of paint for this because you don't want to have the brush overloaded with paint. So because I'm gonna be doing this entire thing like that, I'm gonna go ahead and use the large size, okay? So I picked up that much, but this is what I'm going to do. See how much paint I have on here? Oop, I have a double plate. Okay. See how much paint I put on there? I'm going to take this. I'm going to dab out to where it's almost faded. See that? Then I'm going to take this and now I'm going to go ahead and put it on here. Yes. I just want to let you know, yes, there is a possibility that this can still bleed and we can go over it with a little um uh a little um thin paint brush and clean up the edges once we are done and this is why you kind of want to have this um tape here you know and just i'm not dipping back into the paint but i'm going around the edge and getting just a very little bit I actually did the same method with a stencil on my fireplace. I stenciled my entire fireplace. And if you do pick up a little bit more paint, just make sure that you, you know, get it off. 
And yes, this will be slightly faded, or you can go back, you can keep going back and putting a little bit more paint on it. You just don't want to have gobs of paint. Just do a little bit more. to dry and that's what we're gonna have to wait for before we can um, obviously glue our pieces together so let me just go ahead and finish this up and then we will let this dry Okay, now that I have it all stippled, I'm gonna go ahead and just lift the bottom half just to see what I have and if it's okay, like if it's what I want. Um, if you want it a little bit darker, um, definitely go back over it, but just, let me just try to get this one section up. All right, let me take that one off. I think I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, here's what we have right now. How cute did that come out? I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like that. I'm gonna dry, I did get a little bit of red paint up here. I'm not gonna worry about that. Um, but it is super cute. And I'm just gonna go ahead and let it dry give it about a half hour and then we'll come back and then we will glue this together. Super cute. Okay, so the paint has pretty much dry, dried. <laughs> so let's go ahead and make our pillow. So we're gonna start and do this, if you're gonna do this um, on a table you care about, make sure you have something underneath, okay? I'm doing it on my work table so it is okay. So I'm going to line it up as best as I can. Um, now, if you guys want to iron where this is at, most definitely do that. I do not have that kind of patience. So I'm doing it the hard way. All right. There we go. For the most part, lined up. Pull that down just a hair. Okay, we've got it. Now here's what I'm going to do. I have my incredibly hot glue gun, okay? And I'm just gonna go along the first seam. I'm gonna try to do this straight as possible. so I have more room to work with. And we're just going to, there, now this is in a better position. <laughs> we're just gonna go down. Like I said, it may not come out exactly perfect, but when you're working with, you know, a no-so kind of deal and you're working with the glue gun, it can, you know, be a little off, but that's okay. This is, this is way cheaper than buying pillows and it's a lot more fun. I'm always into 
making my own holiday craft. So it, it'll be perfect to me. Now I'm just doing a little bit of glue. We're going to do this for three of the sides. This glue is a little hot, so I'm just not trying to burn myself. So I'm doing a little bit of tapping. And then once you kind of get the feel for it, you like what you just saw, like you can just do longer, you know, runs with your glue gun. Um, all right, there's that. I'm just making sure that everything is still straight, you know, or as straight as can be. As you can see, this takes a lot of concentration. So I'm gonna leave that little edge open, okay? I'm praying that this the seams doesn't bust bust open on me because I am using a little bit of glue. Probably could have used a little bit more glue, but I don't want to have too much. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna let this do this. Now here's what I'm gonna do before I completely turn it inside out, okay? I'm just gonna go along the edges and just give a gentle tug. I don't rip it, you know, it's still, you know, I guess you can say curing. But you know, just give a little gentle tug and if there's any empty spaces. Okay, the side is still a little warm, so we're not gonna do that. What you can do if you want, so this is all gonna be on the inside because we're gonna flip this inside out. You can kind of trim it down if you like. Make sure you don't trim your pillow to like cut where you've glued. Okay, let me get better <laughs> scissors than that. Uh, let's see. See if my work scissors. Okay, I took the other ones and put them away. So, oh, oh goodness gracious, these are just gonna have to do. I'll have to cut one piece at a time. There we go, it's just too thick. So you can kind of trim that down just a bit. You do this while your seams are completely sealing. Okay. All right. I think we're good. Come on, these are like the little engine that could scissors. got it all right so now let me just kind of kind of check this out of the way here's what we're going to do we're going to fold this inside out or right side out I guess you can say okay we're gonna get these corners good And this would be cute, oh my gosh, if you wanted to do stockings like this. If you wanted to, 
get um, make your own little stockings. I use my glue gun to quote unquote sew for so many things because I am, as you can see, not a seamstress. Um, and it just, it's easy. It's easy. You, if you don't have the money to invest in a sewing machine, um, I actually got mine for free. Um, getting it, doing glue gun sewing, I guess you can call it, is easy and fast. Okay. So my <laughs> pillow is a little off. <laughs> I'm like, ah. Okay. So here's what we got. I'm not... If you want to like really get in there, take your ruler, tuck it. I don't want to rip the glue. That's what I'm trying not to do. You know, and this is just a fun little project. <gasps> How cute is this? And you can of course bedazzle it, all kinds of fun stuff. Now, I know you're like, what do we do about this edge? I'll show you. So what I do, I never throw out a pillow that let's get I never throw away a pillow ever in my house if, even if it gets flat because you can always use the stuffing for something so what I'm going to do we're going to pull this out I don't even know if I need all of this stuffing but uh, because sometimes you're like oh that pillow's flat and Blah, 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 and you know, it doesn't fit, feel good anymore, so let's get a new one. And there's really nothing wrong with it. Save it, because you can do projects like this. So we're just gonna stuff this bad boy in there. And again, you know, if it tears, no worries. This is, you've got your glue gun, it's easy to fix. Um, and again, this is supposed to be a fun project. You don't want to overstress yourself over something that's supposed to be holiday fun. Come on. <laughs> Let's get you in there. Let's stuff this bad boy. All right. Okay. <laughs> we'll be right back after this commercial break. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. All right. And then we'll be able to you know, punch it and do all the fun things once we get it all sewn up that we need to do. And we're going to not waste anything. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, here's the option with the edge. You can take this, tuck it like this, and you can do a really cute, this is what I have right here. You can do like red or whatever, tuck it and then do like a cute, like I can do like your basic sew. I can definitely do that by hand. Um, it is not the greatest, but it works. So you can totally do that. Or you can still glue it. Now here's the thing. You have to go very slow. And I'm just going to show you because I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, let's just glue it. So you still have your markings right here. So here's what we're going to do. Fold this in. And then I'm going to go oh so carefully on this line. Take either the top or the bottom line and go oh so carefully over it. And only do an inch at a time if you want. That's what I'm doing. And then we're going to fold it together onto the line. There we go. down. Ah. All right. Now I'm going to bring this up because I'm just going to, this is just an easier angle for me to do now. Okay. Let's match up the two seams or the two lines. Isn't this easy? And you can get drop cloth. I don't, I mean, I bought this last year, pre-pandemic, so it was relatively cheap. Um, 
I don't know what the price is now, but I mean, it was like, you know, 20 bucks for a decent size, decent size piece. Go. Put another glue stick in there. And this makes such an incredible gift. I think it's so cute. I love you know, it's not gonna fit in there yet, or will it? I love ah, anything drop cloth. I've made curtains, I've done tablecloth, so many things that are no sew projects with drop cloths, you would be amazed at all of the things that you can do with drop cloths. It's always something that I'm like, okay, I gotta have at least one usable drop cloth in my house because you're like, it's so universal that you can do so many things with it. And this would be cute, like if you have any kids in your family that you would like to maybe do like their initials, have them do handprints. Oh my God, that'd be so cute. And you don't even have to wait for the holidays to do this kind of stuff. You can totally do this for anything. Um, and again, you don't have to have a sewing machine. So now I'm getting close to the edge. Okay. This glue gun is extremely hot, so I'm making sure that I'm not touching this glue with my bare hands. I almost did that just to kind of spread this glue that kind of eased up. I'm so in love. I'm so happy I saw this on Pinterest because I was like looking for ideas and I'm like, oh my God, I totally have all of that. I absolutely love um, drop cloth. So yeah, it was like an absolute like no brainer that I was going to do this. And Again, if you have pillows, oh my gosh, I have this drop cloth everywhere. Um, if you have pillows already that you don't use or anything like that, you don't have to buy the stuffing, just do this. And these are decorative. Like I don't want anybody cuddling up with this. Like, I don't want anybody ruining this. I have that invisible glue web kind of around me. All right, so, oh, not quite quite a hundred percent dry. So now I'm going to kind of bring this down. Oops, sorry. It's a little crooked. Let's straighten you up. All right. So here's, like I said, they're going to punch it into shape. Here is our drop cloth pillow. Oh my God. Right? Super cute. Um, I even thought about taking the the um, Santa stops here. Maybe you can get one of these. Let me grab it just so I can show you. Um, you can also take this puff paint. My grandma was absolutely so into this. Um, so you can take puff paint and you can see how the tip is. It's very pointed. You can either, you can like outline this kind of stuff. Instead of having this please right here, you can completely do it like in gold with one of these um, glitter puff paints. Um, they are, they're for fabric, um, so it will not wash off. I wanna say, this is not a fabric paint that I use. So this one, if you get the same kind of paint that I have, there is a high probability that it might wash out. I don't know. Again, it wasn't that washable paint, but you never know. I would not throw this into um, a washer. If anything, if you needed to clean it, I would um, hand clean, like spot clean it. Um, but there's so many things that you can do with something like this. I just wanted to show you how easy it was to make a cute Santa pillow um, made out of drop cloth without having a sewing machine and for pennies. 
Um, this is something that I'm going to definitely decorate and probably make more of during the holiday season. Um, and one big piece of drop cloth for 20 bucks is gonna make you more pillows than you can buy and of course customize it um, than you can buy on Amazon. If you have a Cricut machine, this is a great way to also get really creative. I wanted to show you guys how you can do something without that. Dollar store stencil, dollar store paint you can get. Just grab yourself a drop cloth um, and that's it and some glue gun. So this is it. How exciting, right? Okay, guys. I really, really, really hope that you learned something with this tutorial. I really hope that you saw the many different ways that you can create without having a sewing machine. Don't let that, you know, I don't have a sewing machine or the fact maybe you do and you're like, I just don't know how to sew. Stop you from making something super cute like this. Personalize it. Give, give these away for, for the holiday season. You know, we're in we're in one heck of a season right now. So, you know, I know a lot of people would appreciate handmade gifts as opposed to trying to go out and spend tons of money, you know, that we just don't have. And so handmade gifts is where it's at. This is what you can personalize. You don't even have to have stencils. You can just create, use hand prints, have fun with it. Um, but anyways, and get yourself glue gun if you don't have one. They sell them online for like five bucks. Go to the dollar store, grab you some glue. It, this can be very, very budget friendly. So um, anyways, if you liked this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up because of course your thumbs up, all of this means so much to me and it means something to like, it actually really means something, not just to me, but like to my business because this is my business. So give it a thumbs up. And if you like the channel, if you're just like, keep bringing me all kinds of random crafts, <laughs> mistakes and all, please subscribe to my channel and then make sure that you hit that notification bell because you want to be notified every single time that I upload a tutorial because you never know. It could be something super cool like this that you don't want to miss. Um, but anyways, uh, share this information with your friends. Um, also, if you would like to see some of the handmade or purchase some of the handmade items that you see here on my channel, you can head on over to my Etsy store. Um, Fixing it up with Sandra is how you can find me on almost every single platform. So go ahead and check that out. And when you favorite my shop, you will get a 10% off coupon. And if you don't, if there's like some weird glitch, let me know. Um, but anyways, Christmas in July. I promise more of this stuff is going to be coming um, your way, especially when we head into December and then I can find all of the Christmas stuff. We can really get embellished, do embellishments on this, but this is, you know, we're going to kiss it. Keep it simple, Sandra. That's what we are doing today. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial and I will see you guys again in my next video.